Hi, my name is Reese Guida. In this use case video, you'll learn how to create a policy that quarantines phishing and malware in Office 365 emails. The first step to doing that is choosing policy from the left-hand navigation. From there, you'll add a new policy rule that affects Office 365 emails, and the security level is threat detection. Hit next. From here, you can see that the rule name automatically and intelligently populates, but if you'd like to change it, you're more than welcome to do so. Now I'd like to take some time to describe the different modes that this policy can run in. The first is monitor only. This is the most hands-on. If you want to take manual action after we scan, this is the mode for you. The next I'd like to describe is detect and prevent. Here, mail flows normally, Avanon scans within the inbox, and then quarantines. If you're concerned about a delay of a few seconds for mail delivery, choose this. However, we recommend protect inline. It's the configuration preferred among our customers. What happens is emails are scanned prior to them reaching the inbox. If a 15 second delay isn't a big deal, select this one. We recommend it. The scope will affect all users and groups. Click Advanced to articulate the policy. For malicious attachments or malware, the remediation action will be quarantine and the user will be alerted and allowed to request a restore only if the admin approves. We'll choose the same selection for phishing workflow. This is a good mix of automatic remediation and human participation in security events. Now, we'll choose to send the alerts to admins about phishing. Before I save and apply this custom policy configuration, I'd like to summarize what we just did. We created a policy with a set of automated workflows that sends alerts for the detections you configure. In this case, those detections were for phishing and malware in Office 365 emails. Now, let's click Save and Apply. As you can see, this policy is running in protect mode for Office 365 emails. And the summary for the remediation workflow is on the right. Thank you for watching this use case video about how to quarantine phishing and malware in Office 365 emails using our policy function. My name is Reese Guida, and I'd be happy to answer any questions you have about this video or our security platform. Thank you so much.